941 here on the Big 550 KTRS. Doug McKelvin sitting in for McGraw Millhaven. Uh, Ken Jong joins us. I guess I should probably say appropriately, Dr. Ken Jong. Doctor, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Thank you for having me. It, uh, you know, it's not very often that you find somebody who has had a, a career as interesting as yours, uh, a physician, a musician, a comedian, and an actor, now on ABC's Dr. Ken with an episode coming up, I guess, tomorrow night, uh, 7.30 to 8 Central Time, right here in St. Louis on Channel 30. So congratulations. Oh, well, thank you so much. And the, uh, the way you describe that, wow, it's very humbling. So, uh, you know, I, I, I don't think of myself in any of those terms except just incredibly lucky and grateful. So you were called to become a physician, and, and what kind of practice did you have? Um, I worked um, as a general practitioner um, for like seven years at an HMO here in California. And, um, you know, I, I, I basically had set my whole life to become a physician, but then along the way in college, uh, I got the acting bug and I started performing. And so that really kind of derailed kind of my own vision for myself. And, and it ultimately, you know, long story short, you know, Dr. Ken is kind of a synthesis of both of these things of becoming, a, you know, an actor, but also using my medical background. So it's a very full circle moment for me. Now, the actor, I suspect the comedian aspect of it was always there, but at the same time, did you morph into a comedian or did you kind of straddle that actor comedian uh, bridge? Oh, that's a great question. I mean, I think that I've always, I always kind of think of myself as a hybrid when it comes to you know, acting and comedy, do, do, you know, as people ask me, do you think of yourself as a pure actor? Do you think of yourself as a pure comedian? I, I think I just have elements of both, you know. Mm. I, I think there, there's a part of me that loves, the, the, you know, the pure acting in, in, in all of its forms, not just comedy, you know. And, and I've had limited experience in dramas, but I, I love that as well. But, but I also have a stand-up comedy background, and, you know, I'm, and, I, and I love doing talk shows and panels where, you know, you know, as a talk show guest and doing fun stuff. So where do, where so do the musician part come in? Where does the musician part come in? Well, the musician part, I think, maybe was something probably on my resume that went on my Wikipedia page. But I think that I, I took piano lessons as a kid and, and um, took violin lessons. So I've dabbled in music a tiny bit, but not much. I'm not a musician. I don't consider myself a musician personally. So, um, and having friends are, who are professional musicians, um, I'm always afraid to even play music or sing in front of them. You know? <laughs> it's interesting so. because in California, especially in LA, there are thousands of people who are SAG AFTRA, which is the big union out there. And they're parking cars, and they're washing dishes, and they're waiting tables, and they're you know working here, there, and everywhere. So it's very rare to find somebody who makes that leap and actually gets a real gig paying decent money. And you've done that uh, with Dr. Ken. How did that come about? <coughs> well, yeah, that came out a few years ago, about like, wow, well, almost four years ago, where I where uh, we're working on a script based on my life as a doctor and as a family man so it really became an organic thing where you know where i was just trying to i was just trying to maybe do my own project and and um coming off of community and the hangover movies trying to see if i could do something where i was more front and center and uh and that that's that's basically how it came about i got very lucky to get this made as a pilot and the pilot got made into a a, 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 t a first season of tv shows and then we got the full first season, and then uh, we we just finished our 44th episode uh, two days ago. Right. So it's been very, yeah, it's just it's been I've, I've just been very grateful to even do this amount of television, um, you know, for for Dr. Ken because it's. Uh, it's just been it's been an incredible ride. Let me put it that way. It's you you alluded to ride. the films, uh, The Hangover, and I guess it was The Hangover too. You portrayed an Asian mobster in there. Did, does it bother you a little bit? That's kind of like, oh, we got to have a mobster. We're going to make an Asian. Well, you got to find an Asian to do the role. <laughs> 
I mean, I think the the beauty of The Hangover for me was playing a character that was kind of subverting stereotypes. There, a friend of mine who who writes for uh, a, a, a political writer for eight and 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 really specializes in writing about Asians and entertainment. He said um, he said something very uh, what I think is pretty accurate is Ken took that. Ken took the Asian stereotype mm -hmm. and just shattered it. He played it so he played it so hard that you were basically shattering that stereotype. Because you know, by the third movie, Mr. Chow is really just he's a he's a meta joke where you're you're making fun of the stereotype. Yeah, so you're just so, sort of uh, smashing. Of a guy who, yeah, you're smashing the whole image, and I get that. Uh, Universal's Ride yeah. Along Two is along as well. That I find it fascinating. You're you're sort of straddling two forms of medium in the form of movies and television at the same time. Yeah, yeah, no, I've been very blessed where I've been having the opportunities to do both. And no, no, you're absolutely right. I think that with Dr. Ken, though, because I'm one of the writers and creators, we're, you know, there's a wonderful article about how the show really has done a lot to, uh, you know, portray Asians, we have a lot of we have five Asian American cast regulars on our show, and 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 we routinely, you know, hire you know many Asian Americans to be recurring characters on our show. So and and, and that's by design because in my world at home, I have a Vietnamese wife, I have two daughters, and we have an Asian American family and a lot of Asian American friends. So I'm trying to mimic. One watches a show of Dr. Ken. We're actually normalizing the Asian American experience, and, and and we're doing a lot to, but without being preachy about it. I've never, you know, I've never like, you know, hey, look at me doing this, yo. <laughs> you know, I've never been that guy. Hey, guess you know, who's normalizing, yo? You know I've what? Never, here's you know, the, here's the but, best part about of all the big takeaway for me on this. Yeah. For a guy who yeah. was raised in Greensboro, North Carolina, making the hop to L.A., yeah. Yeah. what a great American story. Yeah, I, that's true. This, is, this whole thing is an American tale, isn't it? I mean, and it really is, um, you, you know, I, 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 I like, um, I, call the, I call our show quietly progressive. Like, we, we, we do a lot of things that, you know, that I really believe in, that, but we do it without being preachy, without hitting you over the head with it. It's kind of my version of a of, of, of a certain world that I'd like to live in, you know. But but I'm also it's, but it's not imbued with it's not imbued with anything like like out of negativity or hatred or anger. It's just kind of like oh, this is kind of how I envision my life to be, you know. Dr. Ken, kind of cool Friday way. night, uh, 7.38 Central Time on Channel 30 here in St. Louis. And, you know, Ken, I look at it this way. If everything collapses, there's always that general practitioner thing you can fall back on. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, I can always go back to... Some people have to go back to waiting on tables. I go back to waiting on patients. Yep, yep. <laughs> Ken, thanks so much for talking to us this morning. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Ken Jong. Actor, comedian, musician, sort of, and physician. Again, the show is Dr. Ken. You can see it tomorrow night, 7.30 to 8, Central, right here on Channel 30. I'm Doug McKelvin from McGraw-Millhaven. It is 9.50 here on the Big 550.